We have with us today a very passionate singer. She was here on the show a year ago. Please help me welcome singer songwriter Greg Craveringa. Welcome back to the show. Welcome home. <laughs> and I like your home setting. First of all, we have to talk about your plants. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is a very boho setting, yeah. as you have yes. named yes. yourself. I live in the boho jungle. singer. <laughs> It's like living in the jungle. I love plants. So uh -huh. less for nature, more plants. Yeah, mm -hmm, there will be mm -hmm. more the next time you come. Mm -hmm. And I must say that you also have a very beautiful home. Oh, thank you. It's thank very you. cozy, warm. Uh -huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You feel that way. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's uh, 2023. Yes. And what have you been looking forward to? Oh, my gosh. I've been cleaning the whole day to start mm -hmm. with. And my hair is wet. So, you know, I'm just being very comfortable right now. Mm -hmm. Ah. I'm working on uh, new materials, hopefully maybe an EP, you know, yeah, no album, but yeah, EP. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hopefully we get yes. to see amazing songs ahead. I hope so. Mm -hmm. You also released an album in 2021. Yeah. Let's yes. talk a little bit about that. Okay. Boam. Uh, that was my first solo album, uh, besides the album I have with Fire Flood, and uh, it's been a nice journey ever since because you know getting the opportunity to perform my own songs mm -hmm. you know have music uh playing my way you know the way i want it yeah it's been quite rewarding it has been extreme i mean like it's been a full life circle for you i suppose yes. Yes. no yeah because you were a student some few years ago and now you're yes. writing your own songs yes. singing performing and so forth uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. my friends have been very supportive mm -hmm. i did not write Every single song, of course, mm -hmm. some were written by you know my friends, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's just it's been a, a leap, you know, yeah. I suppose it has. The last time you were here on the show, I think it was somewhere in the month of October, September. We yeah. talked a lot about your musical yes, journey, yes. how you got started. So, do you remember any of the first interviews? Oh my gosh, I remember you asking me a lot about the boho culture. Yes, yes. I, I, yes. Was, this, I was. This is it. <laughs> uh -huh. This is the definition of who she is. I mean, you, you yourself, uh -huh. Kekri itself, is yeah. a boho. And I like the fact that you are also very versatile and carefree. Uh -huh. So I think people should be more like you. And they, they should be more like themselves, what they like. Yeah. I like that. Um, it's 2023. I know you've had several resolutions as well in 2022. Mm -hmm. So may I know if you want to let me know what is your 2022 resolution? 2022 resolution. Uh -huh. I have this so much. I think as a person, mm -hmm. I want to, you know, make sure I don't age before my time. Mm -hmm. um, I want to decorate the house more. I want more plants. You know, these are very simple, but it takes time. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to write. Uh, music more sincerely mm -hmm. and i want to you know create my own sound so that when people hear music they know that it's my music even mm -hmm. before they hear my voice they know it's mine mm -hmm. yeah so be more inclined towards the bohemian culture promote it more yeah mm -hmm. what does it feel to be a musician well I know that I was created to sing. I can say that with confidence. So it's it's nice to be doing something I'm passionate about, and I don't make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But by God's grace, you know, it's it's been good. I have a very supportive father, mm -hmm. so uh, it's like a consistent growth. Yeah, and the pace at which I'm growing uh, may not be as fast as some other artists, but it's been quite rewarding. Mm -hmm. You're growing in your own time. Yes. In your own yes, place. Yes. How yes. nice is that? Uh, you are a dog lover. Yes. And I just saw one of your puppies. Yeah, <laughs> he might run up again. <laughs> it's a he or a she? He. It's a, it's, yes. He's quite huge. Yes, it's a year old. Yeah, it's oh, in wow. Bernard, so oh, they're wow. quite huge. My uh, you also lost a very dear uh, puppy oh, my, yes. a year ago. Yeah. What do you yeah. remember about him? Two years back. I mean, it's going to be two years. I remember just so much, but you know, one thing I remember almost every day is how much he loved me without saying a word. Yeah, they're here only for a short period of time and they give you so much. He, he disciplined me. Um, he's always been there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I learned to love 
selflessly through him. Mm-hmm. I even learned to pray mm-hmm. for beings, you know, just not just human beings, but for animals as well. And uh, he gave me so much. Mm-hmm. I think dogs or any pet actually are irreplaceable. Truly, yeah, truly. And At what age did you fall in love with pets, dogs? I've always, always liked dogs. I think I, w- I was in kindergarten when my, I, I got my first puppy. And I'm a loner, like mm-hmm. I don't have siblings as well. Mm-hmm. So the attachment just, just happened naturally. Mm-hmm. And I think for me personally, you know, your life isn't complete if you have never had a dog in your life mm-hmm. or a pet, cat, whatever it mm-hmm. is. Yeah. I think the thing of you being mm-hmm. an only child mm-hmm. made you want to, you know, love and comfort pets. Is that why? In a way, I think I need them more than... They need me. I mean, even the dog I had, mm-hmm. Kinibu, mm-hmm. I needed him more than he needed me. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can say that. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm also very sorry to hear that you also lost your yeah. mommy. Yeah. She yeah. passed yeah. a few months ago. Mm-hmm. So how are you doing? Yeah. Well, it's never easy to, to lose a loved one or loved ones. But one thing I believe is I'm sure she would want me to move on do what I have to do. My mom was always very brave and bold and, you know, she was always, uh, she would always tell me to mind my own business. And uh, she was like, you have decided to sing. You have decided not to go for a government job. So if you're going to sing, just do it well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what she said. And I'm sure she would want me to do it because if I don't listen to her, I, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. I, I don't want to disappoint her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so I miss her. She was a very strong yes, woman and yes, a mother as well. Yes, I miss her so much. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel that uh, I'll meet her one day. And when I do that, I want her to be proud of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, a memory that you cherish the most uh, with your mommy? Oh my, all the shopping spree. and <laughs> 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 She loved shoes and bags more than I did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And... Uh, she forced me to color my hair so many times. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was ulta, you know, at mm-hmm, home. Mm-hmm. I like black. I mm-hmm. dye my hair black all the time and I would get calling from her. So I, I love those things. I cherish those things. Mm-hmm. The last uh, I remember was she bribed me to go like completely gray. Ruined my hair, but I did it for her and, you know, she paid for it. So it's fine. I think that at the end of the day, memories are what keeps us going and I'm so yeah. glad. Yeah. That you have that memory with your mommy, the shopping spree, yes. the hair colors. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sure that she is above and then yes. looking down yeah. on how you're doing yeah. as a as a woman, yeah. as a daughter. She would as come a to the sound check as well, uh, mm-hmm. as always. And, mm-hmm. I mean, as usual, and mm-hmm. uh, uh, she was there for my uh, recitals. Oh wow! Yeah, every single recitals. Two recitals. I had my junior recital and uh, senior recital. She was there. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know. She was just a very generous, loving, brave, bold, outspoken lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure she was. I'm sure she was. Um, you are now with your daddy. Yes. Just you and him alone. Yes, yes. So <laughs> what, what, what uh, do you and your daddy do usually? Alone, usually. in a very big house. <laughs> <laughs> well... I don't know, house, it's a home. It's a home, yes. Uh, And uh, sometimes we barely see each other. I get up late Mm -hmm. and uh, evening, like if I go to work, I come home late. Other days, if I'm home the whole day, sometimes I go out, you know. But um, we cook together sometimes, we have tea. Sometimes we gossip also, you know. I mean, father, daughter, it's fun. Yeah, Yeah. that's the best. We take the dogs out. It's. It's a nice bond, and we have bonded more in Mm -hmm. the past, you know, one or two years. Um, We have started to pray together more. So I think that's something I really, really love. Very spiritual. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I wouldn't say spiritual. It's just (laughs) bonding. I think uh, one of the best ways to bond with someone properly, I think, is to pray with them. Mm -hmm, Yeah, mm -hmm. pray together. Mm -hmm, Yeah. mm -hmm. I also mm-hmm. met your daddy a yes. few minutes ago before yes. we started this, and uh, he seems like the kindest person ever. He is. And he was cooking. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was cooking. Dog's and, food. <laughs> yeah, he was cooking. Such such kind-hearted person. Yeah, he is very 
uh, honest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never seen greed in him. That's something I admire so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One advice that your daddy gave you mm -hmm. and your mommy gave you. I have always given me so much of advice. I think I've taken like maybe out of 100, I might have taken like 30 or 40. <laughs> Mom always told me never to waste my time crying over things I can't fix. So she would always be like, just do your job, like I said. Mm -hmm. And dad, um, he just told me never, I don't know, so much. He told me to save up for any days. Yeah, like metaphorically, you know. That is a very important yeah. advice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you also trained professionally, but I feel like you're more leaned towards Broadway. I enjoy performing it. It's just, you know, the, the head-worn mic, the costume, the, I don't know, it's just every being of me, you know, just performs you're things. Like performing. Yeah, the I can be shameless, stage. you know, mm -hmm. the last... Uh, Broadway piece I did uh, was called I Hate Men. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I had fever, mm -hmm. like really bad fever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, backstage I had uh, a cup of, what's that, Irish coffee, I see. you know. Yeah, and performed. It was fun. I think it must have just boosted your adrenaline, the Irish coffee. <laughs> yes, yes, because I had fever, I couldn't eat anything, you know, and it was very cold in Grima. Uh -huh, I mean, uh -huh. fevers, I was It's always naturally... cold in Grima. <laughs> Yes. It's cold the whole year round. Kind of. It's never yeah. hot. Kind of. <laughs> never yeah. humid also. Um, the last time we had an interview, we just really focused on your journey as a musician, how you got started and so forth. So today, in, in short, I really mm -hmm. want to get to know who you are, actually, the core mm -hmm. you. So where did you grow up? Oh, I was born in Mohokjo, mm -hmm. raised in Kohima, and I moved to Dimapur in 2020. So I think... I'm gonna spend the rest of my life Thank in this you. house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How was how was life like in Mokchong? I I just have vague memories. I was like uh, really really young. I moved to Koima before I started school, but I remember being very scared of scooters. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I would run and hide. I would mm -hmm. have nightmares of someone chasing me on a scooter. <laughs> it's, it's weird. This is a silly thing that kids go through. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, I remember moving like shifting we were in a van mm -hmm. yeah those days yes i remember that mm -hmm. yeah i think van was a huge thing yeah those in the days yeah i remember Although in vans yeah <laughs> i remember visiting the uh, nurses hostel uh -huh. uh, them giving me sweets and all like you know yeah those things not they much. always did that yeah, in the past kind of, yes kind of yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> i remember so, those. so you were traveling just <clears throat> back and forth from Okchong to kohima yeah. I mean, like, at such a young age, was it in any way stressful for you? Because you were young. I don't, you know, to be honest, I really don't remember much. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Only Kohima, yeah. So when I started going to school, you know, those mm -hmm, things mm -hmm. I remember. But when I was, like, really, 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 really young. Mm -hmm. one you were also there in Kohima come. for a very long time also. Yeah, I grew, I grew up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I also brought this up during our last interview. Mm -hmm. But um, I took, also took part in a competition called the Sing Off. And you were oh. also there one of, uh, as one of the judges. Do you remember? Oh my gosh. It was, um, it, the venue was just opposite the war cemetery. And you were there as one of the judges. And you had short hair. You were a bit blonde. The cafe. The cafe. The cafe. Do you yeah. remember? Sing off. Yes, yes. I, wow. Okay. Just I Just trying to spark a memory in you. <laughs> I remember being there. Uh -huh. I don't remember the contestants, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was—I think I did not did take a photo this? with you, oh. but I—I I, I came up to you and I said hi. <laughs> okay, I'm so bad. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Oh. Uh, but I'm so glad that we also shared that kind of connection, yes. even though we're not that close. But it was nice to have you as one of the judges. You were also oh. very sweet and kind. Also, oh, was I? Thank mm. you. <laughs> I think it was like maybe five, six years ago. That's why I don't remember. That's like, why. I don't remember what I had for dinner last night. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's how the memory is. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. I want to talk about something also which you uh -huh. have, have also been very vocal about. You've been vocal about marriages yes. and dating. Yes. So, what is your opinion on that? Marriages and dating? Oh. Relationships, generally. Okay. Generally. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Uh, well, from experience, I would advise anyone and everyone to date first before rushing into a relationship. Mm -hmm. Get to know each other. Mm -hmm. Get to know each other's temper, mm -hmm. tantrums, mm -hmm. expectations, needs. Mm -hmm. We we all have expectations. People tell us not to have any, but it just happens, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So get uh, try to understand each other's differences, and if you can adjust, very good. If you cannot, then just don't waste each other's time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, for marriage, sorry, like just don't force someone to get married. It mm -hmm. will happen in their own time. If you're concerned, pray for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has. It, you was mentioning. I'm mean, like on our last stop. Mm -hmm. You were saying that it has to be also a very healthy relationship. Yes. Yes. It has to be. I mean, what's the point of being with someone if it's ruining your life and mm. your energy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when you admire someone or fall in love with someone, you you invest your time, your energy, you just everything that you are, and it affects your professional life as well. They tell us not not to mix our personal and professional life, but it just gets affected. Mm -hmm. One affects the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think uh, take your own time, and you don't have to let everybody know what's going on in your personal life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. What is your take on teenagers who get into a relationship, uh, they break up and then they're so loud about it? <laughs> but like, you know. Yeah. Uh, everyone deals with breakup in their own way. So I don't know, I can't judge them. But uh, just make sure that you don't look for validation from the wrong people from outside. Fill the void with, with God. As a Christian, I can say that because the best way to heal is through prayers. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. I believe that. I can <laughs> believe that. For you personally, what do you look for in a partner? In a partner. Oh, um, there's so many. But mm -hmm. I think respect. Mm -hmm. That's that's the word. For for anything, maybe friendship, business, family, mm -hmm. colleagues, mm -hmm. relationships. If you respect someone, you don't lie to them. If you respect someone, you correct them uh, when they do something wrong. You help them grow. You respect their profession, their space. Yeah, I think respect is the word. Respect. And you're loyal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, loyalty is quite a important, very important thing. Boundaries. Yeah, boundaries, yes, very of important. course. Very important. Yes. Um, when do you think mm -hmm. that a person is ready to tie the knot? Oh, my goodness. You know, if if... The Bible had, you know, a verse maybe, thou should get married by the age of 25 or 30, then maybe we should. Mm -hmm. uh, tied or not, depends on the individual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just staring at you. Depends on the individual, yeah. I think uh, everybody has their own concepts, no? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. If you find but then the right person, yeah, when if, they're ready. If you find the right person, go ahead. If you are still doubtful, Pray about it. I mm -hmm. say that a lot because prayers can do a lot. We have a living God. Mm -hmm. You don't need a middleman to mm -hmm. communicate with Him. Mm -hmm. He speaks to everybody who reaches out. So, mm -hmm. yeah, prayer. Mm -hmm. In but respect to again, what is your thought on, um, no, I mean, like, what is the one problem that unmarried and single people face in society? Oh, yeah, the constant pressure on them to get married. And also, even couples after they get married, mm -hmm. the constant pressure to have babies. Mm -hmm. I don't know why everyone is like so worried about that. Mm -hmm. uh, single people, if they choose to be single, it's better just leave them alone. It's okay. Maybe they have their own personal issues. Maybe they like being independent. Maybe they have some sicknesses also they don't want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they're just not ready. Mm -hmm. not? So mm -hmm. I think it's good not to interfere too much. And mm -hmm. Unless they want, they want to talk about it. Unless they volunteer to talk about it, mm -hmm. yeah. Because I have had people ask me why mm -hmm. I'm still, you know, at home. Mm -hmm. This is my home. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it's coming from a place of concern, it's nice. Mm -hmm. But then if it's too nosy, you know, it's it's, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's also not good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have right, you, you know? ever ran out of mm -hmm. answers when somebody would ask you constantly? Um, I just tell them if they're very worried, they should sponsor it. <laughs> I think that's a really good answer. I think that. Yeah. Um, you have been in the music industry for over a decade now. Yes. What do you think that you've learned over the years? Oh, I, I say this a lot. I'm like a dinosaur, like ancient now. <laughs> uh, ah, so many. I've learned so much. I'm still learning. And teaching has mm -hmm. helped me learn a lot. I learn from my students all the time. They're so advanced. 
Mm -hmm. And I know I have so much to offer to them, mm -hmm. but they also have a lot to offer to me as well. Mm -hmm. So it's constant growth. Mm -hmm. Knowing ways. that your students are also very advanced mm. in terms of whatever ways, mm. how do you keep up with them? Well, I teach them for a reason. I've learned more than them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't say keeping up, mm -hmm. but uh, they come with their own experiences. Mm -hmm. So I take some from that. They, mm -hmm. they learn from my experience, all the training I've had. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, I send them to shows sometimes to mm -hmm. perform. Mm -hmm. And when they sing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just for example, mm -hmm. uh, maybe I give them a simple song. And I would tell them to improvise. Mm -hmm. And when they do it, sometimes it's better than my improvisation, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I steal their ideas. Mm -hmm. I borrow their ideas. <laughs> and now you borrow them. Yes. <laughs> I think it's a give and take. Yeah, give and take. It's a very good investment. A good student becomes a good teacher. Truly, yeah. truly. Uh, I'm sure that you've also experienced failures yes. and have got rejected in life. So, yes. what do you think the rejections uh -huh. and the failures have? Um, made you become Gek Ringa, the mm -hmm. boho singer? Uh, well, the term boho singer, it's, it, it didn't always, uh, you know, exist. Mm -hmm. It was something I came up with after, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, Googling it. In a lot of my interviews, I talk about this. Inclined towards everything bohemian, you know, this, the furniture, you can see everything, everything. Mm -hmm. So that's how I came up with the term. Mm -hmm. And uh, for um, failures, rejection, one of the prayers I've always prayed, mm -hmm, and I mm -hmm. still do, is I ask God for a certain thing, but I also tell him if it's going to make me go away from you, stray away, don't give it to me. I mean, that's the kind of prayer I do. There's no formula. I mean, this is my personal relationship with God. Mm -hmm. So rejections, I believe that, you know, it comes for a reason, mm -hmm. for a season as well. Mm -hmm. I've not always been rejected, I've not always been accepted, but it's part and parcel of life, no matter, irrespective mm -hmm. of whatever mm -hmm. field you are in. I'm sure you have also had rejections. I'm sure some artists or um, people mm -hmm. you had in mind for interviews mm -hmm. might have, some might have rejected, some might have refused to do interviews with you, you know, but then it's it's fine, you moved on, you didn't stop. Mm -hmm. I didn't stop singing mm -hmm. because of that. Mm -hmm. Just Part and parcel of You just life. have to keep going yeah. no matter yeah. the circumstances and the situation. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your favorite Bible verse? Philippians 4.13. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So that verse has brought me so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and still getting me going. I think yeah. it, we have to also have some kind of a verse, a verse which yes. keeps us going. No? Yes, yes. So it's nice to hear that. What's yours? <laughs> Mine is John 3, 16. Ah, okay. Yeah, for yes. God so loved the world yes. that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. <laughs> I like that. I think that when I listen to, I mean, like when I read the verse mm -hmm. and see the verse, mm -hmm. it just keeps me going. Mm -hmm. me also. Mm -hmm. Same with you, vice yes. versa. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, you are now, all, I mean, like, you, you are getting older mm -hmm. as we speak. Yes. Every minute, <laughs> every second. So mm -hmm. if you were to give a piece of advice to your younger self, mm -hmm. what advice would you give? Uh, to start writing as mm -hmm. early as possible. Mm -hmm. It can be rubbish, it can be whatever, but just start writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And vocalize every day. <laughs> yeah, then the, How do you yeah. vocalize? <laughs> oh, there's so many. I'm trying to do some coloratura uh, exercises, but I am somewhere in the middle of uh, dramatic soprano and lyric soprano. Coloratura is like really high, like the whistle register. Oh. My voice is big and mm -hmm. slightly dark as well. Mm -hmm. It's it's fun, noisy, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's fun. Yeah. Talking about that, I just remembered your cover on Rise Up. Ah, okay, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about that. Why Rise Up? I mean, uh -huh. not why, but I think the... the the song really suits your personality. Oh, okay. I wish that, I wrote that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why did you choose to cover mm -hmm. the song? Mm -hmm. It's motivating and it goes with a lot of events, actually. I've sung that in church, youth service as well. Um, what's that? Uh, football match and all that, you know, everything. I everywhere. I've heard that. I think yeah. I've heard it. Somewhere in the local yeah. ground? Yes, IG. IG, yes. Yes, yes. 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 So it's... It's a song you can sing to yourself, you can sing to someone who's down, you can sing mm -hmm. it to people who need, you know, some motivation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's fun. I I enjoy uh, vocally as well. 
you should just yeah. sing more of that again. I would love to hear more of Raisa. Uh -huh. Okay. It never gets me tired. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> uh, one last question mm -hmm. in terms of dating. Uh -huh. What do you think is the biggest red flag in mm -hmm. a relationship or a friendship? Okay, red flag. I have, I myself have been like a carnival of red flags to, to so many people, <laughs> uh, but I grew up. Mm -hmm. um, friendship or family or relationship. If there's no room for growth, if there's no room for correction, if there's no room for criticism, you know, if if I find someone who I can't correct, suppose he does some something stupid, I should be able to talk to him about it without any second thought. Mm -hmm. And he should listen and do something about it. I mean, we're all imperfect. We all make mistakes. But I want to be with someone I can grow with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Someone who motivates you all at the same yes. time. Yes. A healthy relationship like we always talked about yes. earlier. Yes. <laughs> um, I want to put forward a really uh, important question. Mm -hmm. How do you think the government mm -hmm. can uh, help the artist generally? Mm -hmm. Generally. Uh, oh, yeah. If, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section below instead of crucifying me. <laughs> uh, I want to know if the government is handing out any scholarship to people who are doing really well in the music industry, mm -hmm. as in students who are doing really well uh, during their exams as well. If not, then I would request um, the concerned people uh, to handpick at least five or ten students, music students, who get distinction, you know, uh, the ones with the highest score, and assist them financially in mm -hmm. their studies, mm -hmm. music, music mm -hmm. study, mm -hmm. uh, because it's expensive. Very much. Yeah, there's so many people who want to do their diploma or get a degree or a master's or doctorate in music, but they can't afford it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have the talent, but no financial no one assistance. Push them forward. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it it would it would be nice if they can handpick mm -hmm. the toppers, mm -hmm. highest scorers, you know, and do mm -hmm. and do something about it. Yeah. I think that's where the assistance yes. should come in yes. from the government. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. I. Really do wish that the interview could go on uh -huh. forever and ever. But thank you so much for being oh, it's on the show. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for being on the show. And thank you for letting us use your wonderful space of wow. bohonas. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. It's very simple. I like I want to be like a minimalist, mm -hmm. but yeah, the plans just showed up. So <laughs> I hope they have you more on the show again. So as a small token of appreciation uh -huh. of coming to the show, I want to give you something. Okay. It's not much, but you know, just oh, something so to sweet. you know for you to have you at night. Smile. <laughs> My smile just got bigger. Wow. So here it's it's not much, okay, but just uh -huh. for you to just Thank maybe you. sweeten your mouth. Oh, or okay, I got the hint. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. I oh, hope you will so good. enjoy. Yes, I Because will. I believe that when you're like angry, chocolate? when you're sour, it's always nice to have something sweet that yeah. it just sweetens yeah. your mind and your body, you know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Wow. So, thank you so much. And thank you so much for again coming for a second appearance. Uh -huh. I hope to have you more on the show again. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Mm. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Please tune in every Thursday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Prime Time IST only on YouTube. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>